Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, this game is called Frontier's Reach. This is a futuristic pilot game, and uh, I don't generally play these type of games, but worth a shot. Uh, so this is a play test for this game. Uh, so I'm not sure how this game is going to play on my system, but figured I'd give it a shot, put it through the tutorials, uh, in the settings, I changed it to high, uh, it's full screen, full resolution. For some reason, it looks like the mouse is a little jagged when you move it. Kind of, it's weird and funky. This is film grain, but if there's any sort of visual effects, I kind of don't like to have those on, so I just turn those off. Um, bloom effects. I might have to turn that off too, uh, the brightness, but we'll see about that. Controls, it does seem like this does uh, gamepad, joysticks, but uh, I, I use keyboard and mouse. I left everything else the same. Yeah, like You see that, right? The mouse just seems weird, right? I'm moving it, but it seems like it jumps when I move on a straight line. In the game. I don't think the video is picking it up. Okay. That's not a problem. Alright, let's see here. I turned down the music because I don't know if it was going to be copyrighted or not. So I figured I'd just turn it off. Uh, the voices can stay. Uh, let's go through here. I'm gonna try to play test this for about an hour or two, uh, if if I can. But we'll see about that. We don't have a profile. I'm not creating a pilot right now because I don't I don't know if I can. I want to run through the tutorials and see how the game plays, and we'll give it a good little test. All right. Well, let's see. Let's start one of the tutorials. Oh yeah. Also, in the beginning, it gave you like a little story as soon as you booted it up. Uh, here, let me, um, let's quit and let's go back into the game and let's see if it pops back up again. Because it told you like a little bit of a story and it's like, I feel like they should have did that when you hit start. So yeah, this right here. To give you a little story about the game, the year. I'm not going to totally skip it. I'm going to let you read it if you want to. But if you want to skip ahead in the video, you totally can. But if I hit escape, it literally skips it to the next uh, section of the And I'm, I'm not about to read all this. So, you can read it yourself. This is trying to give us some lore. I feel like this should be after you create your profile. And then this should put this should pop up for you to begin your game. Where the where like just booting the game up and then all this starts is weird. Uh look, I don't know if this is copyrighted. Uh there should be some music playing in the background. So I guess uh in the settings I did turn off the, the sound uh, for music, so, you know, if this is something that could potentially be copyrighted, I they should use those settings to not play music. But here it is, Frontier's Reach. You're pretty much a pilot, they fly around, and not sure exactly, there's probably missions, I believe it is all mission base. But you get to have some... Destiny looking vehicles, it looks like to fly in. And there we go. Now we're back to the screen. See, see what I mean? That should be after you click on new pilot. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe that's just me. All right. Let's go to play a tutorial. Uh, yeah, let's start out with the basic flight. Training. I'm never good in flight training anyway. 
but yeah see like they they look like destiny ships you know that's that's what it looks like all right rookie you're the last one to make the run tonight and i'd like to get home and grab some grub with the family let's make it a good one eh? before i don't know let's do a quick review of your instrumentation i don't know what language that is They want me to press C to, to change the view into the cockpit. Like this graphics here, I don't know if it's just because I'm not on an NVIDIA graphics card, but this seems very jagged right here. Like moving for no reason. Unless the engine's on. Yeah, sorry, this is a uh, tutorial, so I'm not going to skip through whatever it's saying. Unfortunately, it's hard for me to read, so I'm not reading it. I would suggest them to change it to a different color so it's easily readable. But yeah, that would hurt my eyes if I was to actually try to read it. The big blue dot in the center is you. In case you hadn't figured that out yet. Moving clockwise from the radar. But I randomly stream games, so if you decide to want to follow me on Twitch, uh, the link will be in the description. I have a Discord if you want to jump in and say hi in the Discord and see what we got going on. We could definitely do that. So this is telling me to press F to activate countermeasures to defend against uh, guided munitions. Uh, basically people firing missiles at you. Or use space to execute like a sharp turn, like an evasive munition. You know, they should actually do that while it's happening, so you can learn it. Because by the time they get me up in the air, I'm probably not going to remember. But, that's okay. The guy just read something that said, Try not to let your fuel go to empty? Well, I mean, common sense, right? I don't know. The whole shakiness of the screen is very, uh, like everything is shaky. Again, that might be because I'm not using an NVIDIA graphics card. So that, that could be entirely it. There's a whole lot of talking in this tutorial that I can't read. Like, I feel like they should turn it, like, black. They should turn it into, like, a black color. Or, like, a deep red. Or something easily readable. Readable. Whatever. Hey, are they going to let me go? Just below that is the ammunition indicator cluster. This cluster of gauges will show which weapon you currently have selected, how much ammo you have for it, and what the current status of the weapon is. Just below that is the second... So looking at the, the scenery, it, do, it just looks like... Maybe it's the rendering? Because even the back kind of looks a little... Uh, like the rendering shakiness. That's like what this is having a hard time rendering too. I feel like there's a whole lot of movement for no reason. You know? But we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens once I can actually do something. I could just go into the game, but then I just... I wouldn't know anything. So I'll go through this for you, so you don't have to. If you click on the video, of course. So there's, uh... I do have a, a bit of videos on there. 
on YouTube that you can uh, also watch. Some real life stuff, there's games, there's unboxings. Use mouse wheel to control the Starfighter's throttle. Okay. What in the world just happened? Okay. So now the shakiness is gone. What? Uh. Okay. Well. I guess I'm in the air. This is cool. So you use your mouse to kind of guide your direction. Oh, A does... Oh, what? Get back into the fight. D does this. A does a uh, roll that way. W and S don't do anything. So that was the, the throttle. I don't know what that blue line is. Oh. Well. I told you, I'm not good at flying. I feel like with how bad this is rendering that there should be more in the world oh there's that green star they were talking nice what's up agony how you doing been a little while since i've seen you doing all right game is interesting. I, I just, I can't aim it enough to get in these circles. Oh, I got one. Oh. Maybe this will be better on a controller, maybe? But... Well, that's how you shoot. I don't know. The way that the... Uh... Oh, shoot, missile. Miss. What? I didn't mean to hit, like, try to hit anything. But I am not sure what I'm doing. But I am just flying. Point. This is very hard to control. Very hard to control. Um, okay. Let's let's get this throttle up. Maybe I'm going too slow for my own my own. Life. But you see the how the mouse my mouse circle is moving back and forth like really weird. The little circle, the white circle. Like I feel like that shouldn't happen.
Bro. I hope I'm not hurting anyone's uh, brain by watching this. But I honestly have no idea. It says reach the lighthouse. Where is the lighthouse? Like, is it this green star? Turn, stupid. I usually don't get frustrated with video games, but this one is kind of frustrating, honest. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna consider this unsuccessful. Let's abort this mission. Let's try another one! I don't know what is going on. Alright, so their missions need some, their tutorials need some work, because I don't understand it at all. Uh, Alright, let's, let's try some combat. So you think you have what it takes the experienced to recruit. Well, I can tell you right now, I'm not experienced. Trucking cargo from one All right, to another isn't going to cut it. Again, You're this color of this you want to join our ranks. word wording is so, pretty terrible, to be honest with you. To run. If you complete it, not, we'll blow you out of the sky and recover you with a drone after you eject to teach you a lesson. Now get ready for launch. Initiating launch sequence. Launching in three, two, one, engage. So as soon as you hit the throttle, you just launch into the air, which is not how, not far from where you are now. Not how these work. Planes just don't shoot up in the air like, you know. But what is this star? Am I supposed to shoot it? Reach the marker, destroy the fuel tank. The worst thing you can do for yourself in the heat of combat is to stop moving. The more you move, die. Use left mouse to fire cannons. Yeah, I mean, that would be cool and all if if my missiles would hit something. I think I got one. Multiple quick passes on the same target, then risk flying too slow and get shot down. The aiming system is pretty, uh, pretty terrible. Unless it's just me. But I don't think it's just me, I think it's literally just the... But that's why they have a play test. Collision warning. Well, I crashed. What do you know? Go figure. Tell you why I crashed because the controls are terrible in this game. Two, one, engage. Come on, let's go. What the heck. Altitude.
Ooh, 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 I can get the last one. Oh, I guess you literally gotta shoot it. I guess you can't just run into it. Okay. Launching in three, two, one. Engage. Oh yeah, yo. Like flying is getting a little bit easier, but I still feel like it's harder than it needs to. Especially with aiming. Pretty easy, right? What are you talking about? None of that was easy. Because it's in a divot, it will either take a high angle dive attack or a specialized missile to take it down. Switch to your secondary weapon and lock onto the capacitor. Once you've got a lock, make sure you have plenty of distance between yourself and the target. These missiles are smart enough to know when they've been fired in a gravity well. It will go into top down attack mode. Coming in. It will allow you to hit targets in tight space. Initiating launch sequence. Once locked on the target. Yeah, but how am I supposed to lock on to the target launch when it's in the middle of a hole? Two, one, engage. Altitude. You know what I mean? I guess I'm gonna need to be like way up here. <clears throat> Can you hear me okay? Okay. I didn't even use the weapon that they wanted me to use. On that same but okay. Formation of derelict vehicles we set up in a mock overwatch position. For this target, switch to your tertiary weapons and try using the bomb to take them out. Mark her up. Guessing that's the bomb or the thing that they want me to use. I'm so confused. What just happened? To be honest, I'm struggling with the game. Launching in 
three, two, one, engage. If any of you tried playing this game, if you have and you got some tips, let me know. I'll be more than happy to try to figure out how to get this game to work a bit better. This is just a tutorial. Imagine if I was just flying out in the world. Like, I don't know. Not having any idea how to do this, and they just. Ah, nice. Good catch with the shiny. My Discord, we have a Pokemon game where you can catch Pokemon and earn uh, Pokecoin stuff. So it's a lot of fun to be able to uh, join and have something else that you can do uh, while watch it be on Twitch. I mean, I like blowing up. So, I mean, yeah, I like playing games like World of Tanks and Final Fantasy, stuff like that. Pretty, pretty much a big variety. I like trying new games too. See if I uh, see if I end up liking any new types of game. Never opposed to trying out a new game that I generally wouldn't play. I don't understand what these extra missiles do. Oh. Uh oh. Huh. Ah. Ah. This oh, over here. Oh, I only had one one bomb. Well, Okay then. Eek. Collision warning. All right now, there we go. I guess I died too much. It made me abort the mission. I sucked that bad that it uh it, it removed me from the tutorial. All right, fine. Let's go into the world. Let's see how it looks. All right. So, nickname type here uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my name. World not available. Uh. I don't know. Doesn't even matter. Alright, that one. Sure. Um, Jotun? Sure. Sounds like...
Sounds like, uh, I don't know, uh, Chinese province or something. No idea. Let's do origins. Let's see. Um, how about crop duster? Because I'm terrible at flying. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. And I like to fly low enough to crash. Yep. Sounds about right. Alright, let's go. Um All right, here we go. You there? Who are you? And what are you doing on my bridge? Yup. Okay. Uh, I feel like the story can be a little... better, but that's alright. Most people are just gonna skip this anyway. A lot of story. If you like to pause it and actually read it, uh, you, you you absolutely can. See, like this orange is a lot easier to see than the the tutorial uh, white lettering. Like I can actually read this. Now my mouse likes to jot around. I don't know if you can see it. Moving like left to right. Yeah, it jumps. When you are ready to begin the mission, go to the hollow table. The hollow hollow table. And select it from the list of Hollow table. What is this? Yeah, I see. Okay, that's Helm. Okay. Hanger. Ah, oh, here we go. Get to choose different ships. Here we go. This is what I like to see. Let's see here. I'm gonna go through all of them. So there's this one here. Wild Bull. Where we started. Myrmidon. Vector. Yield. Freaking Ultra. Hellfire. What? Atlatl? Adel, 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 is that what this is? Anyway. Hoplite. Shepherd. Ruck had some uh <laughs> had some lag there. Green tear. 
Condor and Wild Boar. Okay. This has a phase auto bolt, high energy ejector, or cannon, phased auto bolt. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, customized paint. Yeah, they won't see me coming. Oh. Paint layer one. Paint layer two. There we go. Okay. That, yep. Let me click it a few times, make sure it registers. There we go. Paint pattern. Ah, boy, oh boy. Now uh, this this one. So like that? Yeah, that's better. Wad logo, here we go. Oh yeah. Uh, is there any dragons in here? Well, I like swords, so I might do that one. Okay. Edie's paint shop. Edie's paint. Back to loadout. All right, let's. Oh my! All right, yeah, let's. Let's load up the. Wait, how is that my current paint job? That's not even my color scheme, like, like at all. What? I don't even remember the colors that I chose. It was like something like that. I picked the camo. Like it didn't even save my It's not like saving my loadout properly for the paint. Yeah, 
at. So, like, it's not even putting the color schemes. But it's saying the current paint job is is the one that I that I used. Okay, so if I unselect it and reselect it, then it applies it properly. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, let's just do it to all of them. See what happens. None. Okay. See, it really should go to current paint jobs. None. The default. Unless you select this particular, or should automatically change it for all ships, like like uh, apply all option. Yeah. That this is quite. Uh, unsatisfying. I like the ship though. Addle addle. Because if at least if I'm gonna go dive into a hill, I want it to be the colors that I want it to be. You know? That's it. That's a weird looking ship. That's a weird one, too. That's interesting. That's not too bad looking. Alright, now we're back to the, the wild board. OG. Oh, Alright, let's see. Which one do I like most? I like that one. Can I like swivel it? These two don't look too bad. I like this one, Adaladdle. That Adaladdle one. I don't know why. I don't know why I like this one, but I like this one. We'll choose that one. Uh, Tor Cannon, Auto Bolt, High Energy Ejector. Highest rate of fire, but deliver the lowest punch per round. High energy ejector are great cannons, boasting a moderate firing rate and middle damage. This is but low, low rate, high damage. It cost a ton. With how much I'm probably gonna miss, I'll probably just choose the free one. Cost is zero. Blast radius twenty five. That's the only one that has a blast radius. Weapon damage thirty. Single single dumb fire. Okay.
Single guided, yeah. I think I'll pick that one. So nothing equipped. High X rockets. Thirty-three blast radius, two sixty-five blast radius, sixty damage, fifteen per cluster charge times twelve, thirty-three radius. Weapon range eighteen seconds. One single lock. 120. I don't know. I guess I'll just choose this one. This one, blast radius, 150. X pods, frag X pod. I don't know. Go big or go home. Yeah, that's that's what I'll choose. And yeah, we'll save this load out. Double D's load. Okay. Uh. Guess we'll give it a shot. Let's uh, let's give it a go. All right, hollow table. Oh, it's galley. Welcome aboard. I am, and thank you. I'm gonna give it a couple seconds. Move on to the next script. You all can read it if you like to. Okay. Right. in the comments if you want to let me know how your day is going what you thought about the game any game suggestions jump in the discord you could always suggest me playing some games in there if i have it i'll be more than happy to make a series i may have already started a series on and just haven't made a next uh episode -da 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 -da. um so yeah that's always an option too and then nothing got it anything else i should know that's it. Okay. Cool. Next. It looks like there's only one mission. Alright, let's give it a go. When the levy breaks. Broke. When the levy broke. You don't have enough salvage to cover the cost of losing your current loadout. I cannot authorize you to fly. Please choose a less expensive loadout. I chose a too expensive of a load. You know what? Let's just go to none. You don't have enough salvage to cover the cost of losing your current loadout. I cannot authorize you to fly. You don't have enough salvage okay. to cover the cost of losing your current I'm, I'm loadout. I'm too expensive. I cannot authorize you to fly. Let's see. Please choose a less expensive loadout. I don't know, how's that? You don't have enough salvage to cover the cost of losing your current loadout. I cannot authorize oh. you to fly. Please choose a I need to pick, loadout. like, the first ship.
Perfect. There we go. That's what we'll do. All right, let's go. See what we can do here. <clears throat> Greetings, Starfighter. You've been recruited by... Oh, would you knock it off already? We've got a job to do. Jeez. See, this, this color needs to just... All right. They need to change that. Serious, I guess. This color. Systems online. Kinetic nets online. It's so hard to see even with an outline. Let's do this. Initiating launch sequence. Please stand by. Launching in three, two, one, and all right. Pilot, I'm on the Helia Sirens mainframe AI. It's about time we got you into the air. Allow me a moment to review your mission schedule. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Our first objective is a weapons test. And it seems we'll be using our friendly neighborhood mercenaries for target practice. Very well then. I'll mark the location on your HUD. If you're having trouble seeing the HUD, try changing the color. Okay. Oh, what I think is really messy, which I can't change in here. All right. We'll go with purple for now. I feel like this game would be a lot better with a controller, to be honest. I feel like the bloom is really high. What? What? I'm confused. I see red, but I don't... Don't they say something about like alt to do something and I obviously don't remember anymore. Incoming. Collision warning. That controls is just so terrible. Controlling the airplane is probably the worst. I've ever dealt with I bruh like that's what I'm saying like it goes by your mouse like launching in three two one eight. oh it's so bad I think it was somewhere over here
I would almost rather control it with WASD. But like, WS doesn't do anything because... Oh, I was going the wrong way because there's no indicator of where you need to go on the sides like normal game. Okay. But at least they redirected me. So that's fine. I'm trying not to be salty, but it, I'm pretty salty right now. Like, if they just had the stars somewhere in one of the corners, like, hey, you need to go this way. That would be ideal. Incoming. Yeah. Okay. Did I at least get it? I have no idea. Launching in three, two, one, and Well, I hope they take my feedback, uh, the developers of the game, and not take it as a bad thing. Um, but like they have this green star indicator somewhere so you know what direction you need to go once you lie off the strip right that would be ideal you know that's what you would want to do but your player knows where to go uh changing the color of the letters when they're trying to give you dialogue to make it easier to read you know a universal color like maybe black you know? I, I feel like that would be... That would be okay. How did I not blow up? I got one. Okay, there we go. I was like, how am I not blowing up? There we go. I got one. Well. This is what I'm going to say here about this game. It has potential. Okay. Most games have potential. This has potential, but... It needs work. Uh, I, I definitely would not buy... Uh, this game, uh, it looks like this game is currently at, let me go to the store page. It's saying the game is $29.99. There is a demo, so you can download it, try it yourself, see if you actually like it, okay? I exited the, the game to go back, and it's giving me back the, to the main campaign thing to start over again so it's $29.99 this game to my opinion it, it's not worth $29.99 to me um I honestly wouldn't even buy it at this point the current stage of this game I'm sorry but no I, I wouldn't buy it I do appreciate you uh, allowing me access to the game to play test it and give it a shot. So hopefully my feedback will help assist with getting maybe the game up to where it needs to be for the price point. Uh, to me though, uh, you you probably won't catch me playing it again until there's been uh, many updates with how everything is. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm not on an NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, I think the steering is terrible with the airplane system. I, I feel like 
maybe I should try with a joystick after a few updates when the jitteriness goes away. I feel like it's not not up to where it should be for the price point, to be honest. Uh, it's a cool concept, like if you play with your friends, but I think this is a, a single player, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's single player, so you're pretty much like your own airship bandit, you know? Uh, that's pretty much or airship pirate. I, I don't know. You're going around destroying things that's like almost impossible to target because of the the mouse and keyboard system that they have. Um, but yeah, no, it has good potential. I'll keep an eye on it. If they have any good updates, significant updates, I'll take another look at it and and see if they made any good improvements. Uh, I will keep this up on my YouTube. Uh, well, I will put it up on YouTube. Uh, but hopefully it'll help others uh, try to help figure out how this game could be improved. Uh, but $30, uh, that's pretty high reach for, for where this is right now, to be honest. But I always enjoy a f another game that I can try out. And give a shot again. I, I even dumbed down the, the graphics to high. There's no way to change your mouse sensitivity or the air the control for the ship. So, well, thank you for hanging out and joining again. I'll have the Discord in the link. Follow me on Twitch. I like to stream randomly. That's how I generally create my content. And uh, I very rarely just make the video. I usually stream on Twitch because I like to. And then I throw it up on YouTube eventually. And, but in the description, you'll see it. Twitch link, Discord link. Uh, join the Discord. There's other ways. That I love to play games with my community. So you can always feel free. Jump in, we figure out to play a game together. Doesn't matter. Uh, the Discord community isn't just for me, it's just for everyone to try to figure out, play together, the gaming community, content creator friendly. Uh, Alright, well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!